Hello everyone. Hey y'all. I am back from a, a beautiful break, okay? Taking care of my self-care, my self-love. You worrying about, you know, and taking care of balancing things out in my life for my upcoming things that I will be premiering on my YouTube platform. If YouTube don't block it with Ayla hey Nas, okay? <laughs> so when like I said, when I take a break, don't think it's nothing. You know, this you know people be talking about black magic. No, I don't think about nothing that understand that my well-being is not dependent on YouTube so I do have other things outside of YouTube so I can afford to not upload for days at a time you know it ain't like YouTube paying me millions of dollars anyway but anyway y'all okay I came here to do my job my contract with them again it is not you know contractual it's intentional so I have a job a purpose here and every time I post a video even if two people view it out of them two people, one of them probably was the person who needed to hear that particular video. So they could try to block, they could stop, they can demonetize, they can do whatever. I'm not going to go anywhere. With that being said, this is going to be for Aquarius. Uh, mainly some of Rise of Venus and North Nona, you can have Aquarius a pretty much heavily aspected in your chart or any placement for that matter. Okay, you could be a cross watcher for an Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, this is going to be really tailored around your energy. We're not trying to focus on career. We're not focused on, if that pop up, I'll tell you. I'm not trying to focus on law. I'm just focused on the energy around you. What is things going to be looking like in the next six months? So towards the end of the year. This is going to be a timeless message. When you find it, it's for you. And um, if you're new here, I'm an Aquarius. How you doing, sun? Okay, Mars, Mercury, 10th house, south node. Okay, so I have a lot of Aquarius in my chart. I'm actually Aquarius stallium, and I'm Aquarius, excuse me, Libra stallium. And I'm also a queen of swords, Aquarius sun, Libra moon, Gemini rising. So I'm an air sign. Okay, um, welcome to my channel again. Love you more, 555. Every time you come to my channel, you will leave with some type of knowledge. I don't just read tarot cards, I teach. Okay, that is, that is in my nature to teach. Um, let's clear the energy calling our protection, and then we're going to get started. So let me grab my singing bowl, and let's go, Aquarius. I am spiritually protected from all who wish me harm. I am physically protected from all ill will that may have a negative effect on my safety, health, and well-being. So mote it be. Welcome in, beautiful souls. Those who are malignant, shoe fly, shoe fly, don't bother me. Take that somewhere else, baby. I don't need that nasty energy over here. This is a place of love and light. All right, so the first thing we're going to start is uh, <clears throat> let's talk about what you represent in the tarot deck. Okay, if you never heard nobody give you a self esteem boost, baby, you finna get one over here because that's I love to big up my people, especially those who are in a high vibration. But in the tarot deck, Aquarius is represented by the star card. The star card shows up as a woman, a feminine energy, even though Aquarius is a masculine polarity, they show up as uh, someone who's naked, which means you pretty much it's like embedded in your DNA to live in your authenticity which sometimes gets you know kind of rub people the wrong way because we're not easily to fool we're not easy to conform to people and you can't like trick us we're really smart we're very crafty we pay attention to all the subtle details and you know most Aquarius they read non-verbal communication we read what you don't say okay Especially those who actually, you know, every Aquarius are not a, is not like a healer, even though there is that is like a, you know, something like a birthright to us. It's associated with our sign, but all Aquarius who here who come into this world are not a healer. Some have other, you know, gifts or whatever the case may be, but every Aquarius is not a healer. Also attached to the star card is you know miracles, alignment, okay, peace wish fulfillment okay normally after you done done a lot of work because again the feminine energy shows up naked she has nothing to hide that mean you uh you know a lot of times we come in people's life we show up authenticity we show up in our authenticity rather we show up the way we supposed to and who we are you know no faking no funking okay to the natural eye a real star it looks like you know a luminous body you can you can see it especially at night right on the physiology side, the scientific side, you know, it's a luminous, gaseous, spirotal, 
uh, spiritual, excuse me, celestial body of greatness, which produces energy by means of nuclear fusion reactions. What does that mean? That means that 9 out of 10, when you step in somebody's life, you come in there to make a change or they need to change something. That's why 555 is attached to my channel. Because it signifies, you know, one of the numbers that epitomizes, you know, change. It, it's going to change. It's either it could be a forced change or, hey, you can go with the flow and just let things happen organically. Or, you know, God will make you get into alignment. But 555 is all around change. That's why I like that number. And it's my number. Okay? But on the dark side now, we can be something else because we could become really aloof. Really disconnected, unfeeling, you know, cold, calculating, and sometimes even ruthless. But I have to say that takes a lot for that to come out. Okay, um, our ruling planet is one of them is Uranus, and you know, Uranus is all about rebellion, eccentricity, which is just someone who has unconventional thought patterns, behavior patterns, and the way they move, they just don't move normal like everybody, they just they like to move the way they move. Okay, it also is linked to surprising events, uh, okay, radical change, okay, rule breaker energy, outsider. We are the lone wolves, it also is connected to free thinking we are very uh deep into humanitarianism you know we have a lot of concerns towards social justice and social change and environmental issues when our other planet saturn that is connected to life lesson responsibility structure long-term goals help to create order in life and it usually comes around every seven years to check on a person's maturation progress which is their maturity level how are they growing it is also connected to tangible rewards so saturn is like a, the planet of like work lessons okay uranus is the planet of innovation change okay freedom because you know aquarius i'm knowing we trendsetters we not type of people like to follow people we like to kind of make our own way right i also have a channel song here for us and i i have heard this song before but i didn't really you know really know much about it i'm the type of person when god give me because i channel a lot of music so when god give me music i go look it up i go find out who made it when was it what years release they birthday what is their zodiac sound what is the meaning of the song and i have all that for you right here so the name of the song that i kept hearing i kept hearing the chorus and like i said i didn't know too much about the song so i had to go do a little research i'm not gonna lie it is by Nelly Furtado, and it is I'm Like a Bird, okay? She's a Canadian uh, pop singer. Her birthday is December 2nd, 1978. Sagittarius could be very significant here. Um, she's 45. 45 could be significant, okay? I kept hearing the chorus, you know, and it's, the chorus goes, I'm like a bird, I only fly away. I don't know where my soul is. I don't know where my home is. And I kept hearing that over and over again. The song is pretty much an exploration of her self-discovery and the complex the complexities uh complexities of emotional attachment to uh, the opposite sex. Um it is like, you know, the lyrics convey like a, a sense of restlessness and a need for freedom, despite the deep connection she feels towards her loved one. Towards the end of the song, she acknowledges that, you know, uh, the beauty and permanence of her partner's love. She understands that the person truly loved her, but also feared that, you know, his love is not enough to keep her grounded, which means that, you know, some of y'all, you could be in a relationship where... You know, you really love somebody, but you are afraid because of our damn, <laughs> I don't know, we, we do get really aloof, we, we kind of get in our head a lot. You know, you could be overthinking something, you could also be wanting freedom, you could be wanting change, you could be wanting newness, okay? You could be wanting other things than what you got. You could be, some of y'all right now could be in between worlds, in between decisions, okay? In an energy of indecision, you know, uh, perplexed. You know, it's probably hard to make a decision on certain things, but there could be some of y'all dealing with a person who, you know, you really love this person. You know this person love you, but you're afraid y'all may not have what it takes to maybe, you know, for it to go the distance. There is not a question of, is this person love you or you love them? You know that, but it's like, it, it's, it could be some fear attached to, you know, like completely letting your, get, letting your guard down, being vulnerable with someone here, okay? And some of y'all, it said, I keep, uh, you know, um, excuse me, 
I'm like a bird. I'll only fly away. I don't know where my soul is. I don't know where my home is. Some of y'all are trying to find your place in this world. You're trying to find out where you belong. What do what do Aquarius like? What makes Aquarius happy? And a lot of y'all, that's, that's the thing you could be really focused on right now. Not other people, not other places, not other things, just you. And some of y'all, a relationship that you are... Could be like I said in the midst of you know in between worlds one foot in one foot out you're you're about to make a a final decision for some of y'all on um a long term romantic relationship. Do you want to go the distance with someone or will you possibly be going your own way because your soul could be calling you to go in another direction and right now you're again you're in between worlds you're trying to figure this out. I feel like the only thing you could do right now is be patient and don't try to control things. Just let things happen organically. You know, I feel like this could be coming from a place of fear for some of y'all with this relationship. And again, those of you who it applies where you just trying to find your way in this world, no matter your age. And at 45, you could be older, but... You know, maybe things have not always been the way you wanted to, or you've been somewhere for so long in a certain area, a certain a certain place, a certain home, a certain relationship, okay, and you've been there for a long time. You could be really ready to just make some impulsive changes. I'm I'm hearing impulsive changes, like get up. Some of y'all are thinking about just picking up and just moving, leaving, you know, just leaving everything. I don't blame you, you know. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for y'all right here. Also, the year 2000 could be significant. The number nine could be significant. Number two could be significant. May, May could be significant. Number 27, 8, 15, and 26. Somebody could be a life path number two. Somebody could be a life path number nine, seven, eight. Okay. Mm, all right. Aquarius. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's get a couple of these. We're going to start off with this Moonology deck. Okay, let's see right here. We're going to use this Moonology deck to look at your hidden emotions, the fears, whatever this, whatever this fear is coming from in a relationship. And the rest of y'all, this, this location, relocation I'm feeling here. You know, you're ready to go on a different direction. You're like a bird. You want to fly away. You're ready to find where your home is. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. Okay? So somebody here, you're not feeling at home. You know, you're ready to make changes. Okay? And ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's see what the cards want to say. Let's see. Should I turn this on? It gave a little light. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Surrender to the divine. Didn't I just tell you you can't do nothing right now? <laughs> well, I suggest you don't do nothing. I ain't going to say you can't. It's a conjunction anyway. It's not even a word. It's a, two words put together. It's can and not. But yes, you can. You know, uh, well, you can't actually. <laughs> I said it right the first time. You know, uh, right now, all you can do is surrender to the divine. And full moon here, you know, some of y'all, you need to release some emotions. That could have a lot to do with this anxiety around making a choice about a relationship. Okay. Also, with that full moon here, some of y'all, there could be some type of uh, information coming out. Maybe something hidden behind this big moon. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Again, then I talk about someone here needing to be vulnerable. This, this is you needing to show up in a situation. This is you needing to show up in, in a relationship or whatever this is you got going on that is causing you to want to fly away. There's a need for you to show up in your authentic self. There's a need for you to be honest with yourself and honest with whoever this is you're dealing with. It may go better than what you think. Don't let your past hold you back. South note. This is someone, again, fear. South note is only about fear, connected to fear. Past life, uh, karmic cycles that you didn't bring in here that you didn't complete last cycle. Okay? There could be some things you need to take care of. But look here. Conclusions are within reach. Thing will work itself out. I feel like in divine time and up under that we had look, your hard work is paying off. New money Capricorn. 
someone here may have Capricorn placements or that could be a Capricorn uh, in someone's energy here. We have meditate and contemplate. New Moon in Pisces. There also can be Pisces placements in someone's chart here. There also could be a Pisces that's in the wind for you. We also have Aries here. It's time to take action. So there could be an Aries coming towards somebody here too. Or you could be dealing with an Aries and maybe they're getting out this energy. Maybe this is someone you're connecting with, Aquarius. Maybe you're around an Aries or someone with Aries placed them as that, you know, could have been confused and, you know, I feel like they possibly could be in between worlds, but soon they will be making a decision. They will. Let me get my phone out the way. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see what you can do. Because I, I said that, like, when I saw this Surrender to the Divine, that moon, I don't normally read it like that, but that moon is just giving me some type of maybe deep down hidden emotions that you may need to deal with, Aqua, or someone that you're connecting with. They could be in a lot of fear and anxiety. They could be in between two, wor two worlds. This person's intuition could be blocked. It could have something to do with their past, or maybe someone needing to let go of someone from their past, or something connected to the past, memory has habit again thought okay this is the empath empowerment deck let's see some things that you you know possibly could do or maybe give advice to your partner to deal with in order to deal with these emotions that's in this moon that big old moon oh that's a lot that's too much give me three of these thank you breathe Breath is sacred. To replenish yourself, slowly inhale wellness and clarity to a count of six. Then exhale stress to a count of six. Okay, if you need to see that screenshot it, keep it. Okay, whatever works for you. I love this deck. Particularly, I used to pull cards like every day for myself, once a day. Embrace your imperfections. Then I just tell you something about when it say bring love into the situation. I said there's some of y'all, you some, um... Someone here, or maybe a group of y'all, a few people, you may need to show up in a situation like who you truly are. Maybe you've been wearing a mask. Maybe you haven't been really expressing, you know, the way you truly feel. Because this woman is pulling out this, this water pitcher, which is a, uh, it's called a cysteine. Okay? And I forgot the little Greek son name who carried this. Uh, not Prometheus. Not Prometheus' son. I forgot who the hell he is, but... I'm going to tell you a story about that one day. I'm doing a lot of research, a lot of reading. I love to read books. You know, it's just uh, my bookworm. I always have been. But it's saying embrace your imperfections. Someone here, you need to show up in yourself, your your complete self. Um, also, there could be some insecurities here. And I'm going to tell you why. You see that cup right there? That's a teacup. You see all them beautiful butterflies over that cup? But them cups had has cracks in it. This is telling me intuitively that, yeah, you may have a little bumps and bruises, a little scars. But overall, you've grown so much. These butterflies are different color. I feel like representing different time, you know, different time segments or that time periods in your life. Well, maybe you had to go through different tests and trials and, you know, you you made it through. The one that's standing out the most, of course, you may think it's the yellow, but it's the white one that's close to the teacup. This is signify, you know, you're going back to a place of innocence or getting back to a place of innocence and balance and peace. It says, release the idea that you must be without flaws. Humans are imperfect, messy, and also miraculous. Simply aim to be the best person possible. Maybe some of y'all was showing up in a situation, you know, being a certain way to force someone. Put these over here. Being a certain way for uh, for someone, you may be showing up the way you thought they needed you or where you thought they wanted you to be, but not showing up how you truly are. Whatever, it could be in just in life, it could be in a romantic relationship or here there, but there's a need to step out of your comfort zone. The South Node also denotes, um, there we go. It also talks about, you know, uh, what the hell, I just got lost, y'all. Being stuck in your South Node, being being stuck in your ego, being stuck in fear, being stuck in light. That is your South Node. That is connected, again, to that's the karmic past life lessons, what you bring into this life with you. That is your South Node. That's how you find out what you need to, uh, what you need to handle in this life. 
It's a be light hearted. I told you, go with the flow. Set your intentions to be easy going and playful today. Give yourself with some carefree time to have fun. Let your head down, okay? If you've been in this strict energy, again, it's time to show up as yourself, okay? You know, we have many layers. We can be quirky, funny. We also could be cold and quiet, you know, and a lot of time when we are quiet, we get we, we feel not the energy, feeling not the person trying to get to know you, or we'd already made a clear, you know, assessment of you and know you you ain't to be fooled with and we won't talk to you, you know, but when we get, we do get to know you, you're gonna be like, dang, shut up. Because we didn't got comfortable with you. Now we can let our weird quirky self out, right? <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, it say, ask a dream, ask a dream for guidance. So some of y'all right now, it is, it is like very important that you pay attention to your dreams. Okay. There's messages, signs, symbols, and confirmations and answers in your dream at this time if you can try to keep your dream journal on the side of your bed for the next couple of months i feel like you're going to be getting really good downloads you know i, sp I feel like also the more you you know connect to the divine you know Surrender to the divine. I feel like the more downloads you're going to get. So some of y'all, it's going to be really important to get you a dream journal. Or just a, you can tell, I, I title mine downloads and stuff like downloads and dreams. And I keep it on the side of me. And you know, like I remember dream. If I dream that night, I wake up and I write down what I need to. I don't share a lot of stuff I be dreaming about on my channel. But I, you know, I say I'm going to start doing that a little more. But anyway, you know, this is like, this has been on my mind for a couple of days. I posted and been recorded this video, but yeah, you know, I just was hearing that song and I kept hearing the chorus of that song. And I'm like, let me do my research and find out about, you know, this song and who this woman is and why is I'm studying hearing this. Okay. But anyway, let's get into some tarot. I'm going to be using this little new little purple tarot deck I got. It is cute. Okay. I got it because it's purple. Why purple is royalty. Purple and go. Let's see what is the strongest energy around Aquarius Collective right now. What is the strongest energies around the Aquarius Collective at this time? Divine Universe. What is the strongest energies around my Aquarius Collective at this time? I hate that word, y'all, but it's befitting, okay? <laughs> Oh, somebody about that jamming. <laughs> Four swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So there is there is um, a moment or a time of recovery coming. If you're not already in this, some of y'all, you know, you could be stepping into this. Okay. Once you also surrender to the divine. But what is the energies around the Aquarius Collective right now? Ooh. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles. These didn't turn over. But look. Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Lovers. Some of y'all, there's going to be a possibly an end into a relationship for some of y'all. Or there's going to be a, a, like a, a recovery, a rebalancing of a relationship that's happening here. This could have been after a lot of trials and tribulations for some of y'all, a lot of tests. You and this person could have went through a lot together, but the Ten of Pentacles is here, okay? That is stability, that is legacy, that is family, that is DNA, okay? That is ancestry. Oh, what else? Why did the Ten of Pentacles come out here? Uh, two of Cups, okay? Also, maybe something is about to change in a significant relationship. Or if you're single, we got the five of pentacles. Oh, some of y'all, you know, hell, you could be leaving something out in the cold. Let's see. What else? Oh. Oh, what's that? We have the queen of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles is looking at the five of pentacles. And what I do notice on this side, right, there's a masculine and a feminine energy. The masculine on this side right here, I want y'all to see this. 
That is the man. This is the feminine in this gown right here. There's a five of pentacles behind this masculine. Whoever this is in the two of cups, it could be it could be a cancer. But there is a five of pentacles behind. Okay, and this is going, no, excuse me, ahead of this person. And then there's a queen of pentacles looking at the five of pentacles. And then there's a three of wands right here. You know I ain't changed the deck because my hand over there. That could be someone that is either you're connecting with. They may be finally deciding to let go possibly of a queen of pentacles. Who could be like an ex-spouse, ex, ex uh, you know, ex-girlfriend, okay, ex-baby mother, or whatever the case may be. I feel like they're deciding to finally let this person go. This could have been someone who, who kept this masculine like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This person could have been going back and forth for a long time. And whatever they was doing, you know, with this past person, this person keeping them attached to them, keeping them coming back and forth. It was keeping this person in like the two of swords in the tower, which means like this person was blinded. And, you know, I'm also getting that this queen of pentacles energy, whoever they be, they don't have to be an earth sign. This person then done some things to this masculine, a, a lot of things. They've had a lot of problems. You know, I feel like she blinded this masculine, like, you know, like slighted him. She stabbed him in his back a couple of times. But this is someone who had, they felt some type of loyalty uh, towards this queen of pentacles. And I feel like it ain't like that no more. I feel like they have decided to leave this queen of pentacles, you know, alone. But this is coming up. This is not, um... This is this has not happened yet, I don't think. I don't think this happened yet. I feel like Five of Pentacles also represent if this person was giving this woman something, because I feel like it's a woman. If this if it's someone that wanna come towards you or someone you're connecting with, if they were still connecting with a past person and they was actually like giving this person finance or something like that, she's looking at this five of pentacles was letting me know in the near future someone is gonna be completely focused on building with you. Tower. And this is going to, this going to be coming like, it's going to be like a shock to not just you, but to this queen of pentacles more than anything. I ain't even mean to say you Aquarius. I meant to say the queen of pentacles. Okay. Can, trying to confuse the energy. This is what she's trying to do to this masculine too, because she don't want this mask to get in this chariot. Somebody could be trying to keep somebody from coming towards you. This may not be somebody you with. This could be someone who's trying to keep someone, you know, from coming towards you. This is someone who could be holding somebody up. Look, somebody who's immature, somebody who's argumentative, somebody who's like stalkerish, bugaboo kind of. You know, this could be somebody who's watching, heavily watching this two of cups, okay? Knight of cups and a star and then the, the nine of cups. There you go. This is somebody who want to give you an offer. Some of y'all, you may have a cancer coming towards you. They may be, uh, they may be letting go of a queen of pentacles, Virgo towards Capricorn energy, or they could be letting go of a spouse. Okay. If this is not, uh, a cancer, this could be a Scorpio. This could also be a Virgo. This could also be a Libra. Could be another Aquarius. Okay, could be a Gemini too. All the air signs. But yeah, this could be someone who wants to come towards you. And this could be someone also, you know, because this woman is a Sagittarius. Now, look at Tato. This could be a Sagittarius too who wants to come towards you. They could be getting rid of like a Queen of Pentacles. Look, damn it, look at that in my hand. Six of Swords. Somebody, somebody's leaving somebody out in the cold to, to try to come towards you. This is someone who wants a two of cups with you. I don't know if you've been with this person before, but whoever this is, they want to give and receive to you equally. This could be someone who was, you know, if you're with this person, this person could have Sagittarius and they charge to a lot of Sagittarius, to be honest. With you. Water and water and fire, actually, particularly Sagittarius. But this is someone, if they was given to you, they was trying to keep things balanced with you at the same time, trying to please this past person. So they was trying to keep things in balance with you, but you see, they they bread two of pen. They was breadcrumbing you 
trying to maintain their stability with the ace over their head, but on the three of pentacles, they probably was giving this person a lot. Whoever this person is from their past that they could be letting go of, or they moving away from to come towards you to give equally to you. You know, it could be either or somebody you could have been dealing with. They could have been given to a past person and it may not be in a, in a, you know, in a, a form of like sexual energy. It could be someone who maybe they have children. We have the hangman. It could be a Pisces too. Maybe they have children, a child with this person or something like that. But they feel as though they owe this person some. I don't know why they have to give this queen of pentacles money. But they have to give this queen of pentacles money. And if you with this person, with them scales, it could be a Libra too. If you with this person, this person has been with you, but they've been trying to keep things, you know, hidden from you too. Two of Pentacles is on your side. I feel like with the scales, they've been trying to keep things in align with in alignment with you, balance with you, but at the same time keep this Queen of Pentacles happy. I don't know this Queen of Pentacles is. She could be a Capricorn or a Virgo or even a Taurus, but I, I feel like the first one's uh, Capricorn or Virgo heavy. Okay, or well, she have a lot of Virgo and Capricorn in her chart. But yeah, this is somebody that whoever this masculine is, they've been trying to please this person. But they're not trying to please this person anymore. And I just really feel like if they've been giving this person any... Look, I stopped shuffling. Look at the bottom of the deck, the world. Okay? Fixed energy. This could be a fixed sign. Aquarius, uh, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, you know, I feel like this masculine done dried up giving to her because she's looking at this five of pentacles that's going towards the right, which is the future. So in the near future, they're not going to be given to this Queen of Pentacles anymore. I feel like for a long time, this person, this Queen of Pentacles had this person blindfolded. I don't, I don't know how, I don't know what she was doing, but you know, now she's in a nine of swords. She stressed the fuck out because I feel like this person is like her meal ticket, bread and butter. And I don't know why. They go to King of Cups right there. I don't know why this mask they have to give to her. I, I, I really don't. I'm not going to lie to you. God has not showed me that. It, it could be a child. We got the Ace of Cups. They could be a baby. It could be a child they have to give to her, have to give money to her for. Um, I, I feel like also they've tried to maintain a level of positive communication with this queen of pentacles just in case like if they do got a child this is someone who's been trying to keep you know like love and communication you know keep things balanced between them and this feminine okay at the same time you know trying to remain guarded so they won't like cross the path where she can understand because this queen of pentacles may know about you but this man still have some type of financial dealings with this woman is like it's something he, he has to give her so like i said it could be like child support or alimony this could be someone he was married to this could be someone he always trying to protect too he may he may really care about this queen of pentacles but he know this queen of pentacles ain't right that's why he's not with her or in the near future he's going to be cutting her off completely because i again i don't feel like he's with her romantically and you know he could have you know because i feel like at one point he did have love for this person but this is someone i feel like you know they have you know tried their best to you know keep this from you too by blocking seven of wands can be blockages this your ancestors could be blocking something this person could be trying to you know could have been trying to really block you from finding this out that they was communicating with this ace of cups somebody that may be from their past that they may have some type of financials with they may have to give this person money for a child or anything okay it could be anything but this is something someone was trying to hide from you they didn't want you to know that they was communicating with someone here okay Okay, and it could be this King of Cups, Queen of Wands, King of Wands. I said it could be a fire sign. Yeah, uh, whoever this is, this is your match. Okay, you're this Queen of Wands. Whoever this is, they're the King of Wands, uh, possibly King of Wands, King of Cups. I told you somebody can have a lot of water in their chart, and they can have a uh, Sagittarius to be specific. Yeah, Sagittarius. Okay. But this is someone who is heavily attracted to you. They they want to be with you. They they view you as their match. Okay? This Queen of Pentacles, she's not his match because he that came out here as the King of Cups and the King of Wands. She's coming out as the Queen of Pentacles. They're not a match. Okay? Yeah. Okay, and it's, it makes her really sad, too. Or this is going to make her really sad that this person is finna finally star, you know, confirmation with these dolls in the background. Five of Wands says she's going to fight it because I really do feel like this woman know about you, Aquarius. You don't know about her. 
you're the one in dark and whoever you're dealing with or who want to come towards you they've been keeping their best you know really trying to guard this secret from coming out if you're dealing with somebody or if there's someone who want to come towards you for a partnership they still trying to look high priestess secrets they're going to come towards you with secrets or oh, or some of y'all if you're going to be meeting somebody in the near future this person's going to come with baggage they're not going to reveal that to you because they could be in the process of divorcing somebody or leaving someone behind that they had a long term commitment with it definitely could be three plus years because pentacles is years but this is something they're not going to be completely open with and again it could be a pisces three or one but they want expansion and growth with you okay they want to grow with you they want to heal with you we have the six of cups and then we have the strength card and they go to emperor somebody is ready to grow up Somebody wants to be with you, but could have possibly been juggling you with a past person. When I mean juggling, I don't mean sleeping. Some of y'all, they probably could sleep, probably was sleeping with this person. But I feel more, this person has some type of financial obligation to this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles, I almost burnt. This Queen of Pentacles could be like a, a, a spouse. This person could have been, somebody else could, uh, excuse me, somebody here could have been hiding from you that they was married before. That's another thing that could be coming out too. Somebody could have been married to uh, possibly a Leo. Like I said, this Queen of Pentacles don't have to be an Earth sign. This person could be a Capricorn or a Virgo. They may have, they may be a Leo. Okay? Virgo, Leo, Cusper. Right? But this is what this person's been hiding from you, this Emperor. Now we got Aries energy on the table. This is also Taurus and Scorpio for me. But this is this is who been hiding. This Emperor, they've been hiding this. And I feel like it's been keeping, you know, it's been taking every piece of strength in them to like keep this hid from you. That they've been study happy to deal with whoever this is in the Six of Cups from the past. And it's like they have, again, they have some type of financial obligation to someone, okay? But see, look, Page of Wands, Ten of Swords, that's about to come to an end. Somebody is finna stop giving to someone. Somebody child could have got grown or got bigger or whatever the case may be if they have a child. Or they only have to pay this person money for a certain amount of time. They could be coming to an end and this queen of pentacles could be trying to do some manipulation to get this person to still give to her. But they ain't going to. Mm -mm. Nope, they not. They going to stand on business with the ace of swords and the four of swords. They going to lay it to rest. That sword right there, that look, that's turning to the look one and four. That's a five sword. This person's gonna fight, okay? Whatever this is, they've been having to give whatever financial obligation to this Queen of Pentacles. Some of y'all, it could have been a contract, it could have been some type of deal, could have been a court judge, and they could have owed this person money. Whatever it is that they have to give this Queen of Pentacles energy, it's over with. <laughs> they ain't giving no more to her. They finna cut her off, and I mean swiftly, quickly. Knight of Swords. They not playing. Whoever this is, yeah, because they ready to take a leap of faith on you. This person is obsessed with you. Some of y'all, somebody's obsessed with coming back towards you. Some of y'all, somebody's obsessed with, you know, com you know, making you their world. Hierophant, Empress, Justice, Three of Cups. <laughs> Look now, somebody, some of y'all, you got somebody who want to come back towards you. Or somebody who want to come towards you for the first time. You know, they may have their eye on you. and Or you could be meeting this person and they're not going to reveal to you about this Queen of Pentacles in the background, though, that they have to give to. Okay? And again, some of y'all, you could be dealing with a person they may have had to have for the last couple of years, maybe three years or more. Somebody has some type of financial obligation to a Queen of Pentacles energy. And again, this person could be like a, a Virgo, Leo, Cusper. Okay? And... It's about that whatever they had going on is it's pretty much just finna be done. It's severed, okay? It is about to be over with. Yes, it is. And this person's gonna move forward with you. They're gonna move forward confidently with you. Give me a little bit more what's going on over here with this. I see what else going on over here. This what is this Queen of Pentacles doing? Why did they have to give her money? Aquarius, our change, alignment, healing, wish fulfillment, destiny, and miracles. There's about to be a miracle in the situation here. Aquarius with some of y'all and someone, okay? Cleanse your home. Someone is sending bad juju to you, your home, and your family. Then I tell you this, Queen of Pentacles may know you or may be aware of you, okay? And the fact that they're... And say if you don't fear anything, nothing can put fear in you, okay? 
this person here could be trying to, you know, do something to you because she know that her time is up with this masculine or she's not finna be getting anything for this masculine anymore. Um, Earth Angel, <laughs> Cosmic Being Unicorn, okay? And I, I had this wrote down just in case this card came out and it did. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Unicorn, where did it go? I literally wrote that down. I wrote it down. Mythical, mystical creature. Unicorns, because of their eccentric taste, coupled with their transcendent, innovative, unconventional approach to life, they are a perfect match for Aquarius energy. Okay? According to this, uh, this uh, website I was looking at, okay? So, uh, unicorn is actually our mythical spirit animal. Okay? So, yeah, something you know. Le look, damn it, what I say? Leo came out. Flew right on out. I create strength, joy, illumination, consistency, persistence, and conviction. This woman has been persistent. Somebody could have a Leo, Virgo, Cusper, ex-wife, spouse, okay, that they've been having to pay money to, and that shit is over with. It's done, okay? Whatever this is they had going on, whatever financial obligation is, I feel like with the four of swords to the ace of swords, something is about to be able to set this person free from this obligation too. Mr. Wrong. Why did Mr. Wrong come out? Me and Mr. Wrong getting along so good. Even though he break my heart so bad. Yeah, we got this thing on me and Mr. Mr. Wrong. You know what? As I think about it, I forgot what the fuck Mary J. Blige. I think she a Capricorn or she a Pisces. She, I think she a Capricorn. I'm not she could be a Pisces. I don't really fucking know. I remember. But, um... She made that song with Drake, Toxic 7. I remember him. He a Scorpio. So that could be a Scorpio here, okay? It said, your spirit team always have your back, the universe. So, Aquarius, you protect it. And you protect it from whatever this witch bitch, uh, whoever this possible Virgo Leo Cusper is trying to do to you. Somebody can have very dark, sadistic eyes, okay? Dark color eyes here. Mm. So that's what's going on here. This person could be trying to look, their chakras are out of alignment. Whoever this woman is, that nine of swords, this woman is going through it. And it's because they're not going to be able to get any more financial means from a masculine that wants to be with you. Toxic, nosy ass neighbor all up in your business. Some of y'all be careful about a toxic neighbor that's up in your business. It could be, you know, they could be another person that's sending, you know, the evil out to your home. In the past, Something is also, the Six of Cups is going to have, Six of Cups, there's a moon in one of them cups. There's something, I told you something's going to come out. Something's going to be revealed about the past. It has some do with this Queen of Pentacles energy. Sexy, bold, confident. I always get this as Leo energy, okay? And I love my Leos. My North Node is Leo, and that's my opposite. That's our opposite, okay? If you don't fear anything, nothing could put fear in you. God wanted you to see this. Okay, so this is also telling me whatever this person was doing to you, it wasn't affecting you, or at least it wasn't completely affecting you. It say, hey, having anger towards everything and every, oh, excuse me, having anger towards everyone and everything without cause. This is just a bitter, mean-spirited person. July, August, September. This could be somebody's birthday month, the masculine or the feminine. Leo, Virgo, look, first one, Leo, Virgo, Cusper, Libra, Cancer, okay? Could be somebody birth month or something is coming between summer and fall. So something could be happening between summer and fall. Masculine over 45. The feminine is 45. This could be two older people coming together, coming back together for some of y'all. Unrequited love, unequally yoked, incompatible. That came out too. I feel like that is the, whoever this is want to be with you. And also keep in mind, that could be a Leo, a Virgo, a Libra, or a Cancer that wants to be with you. I did say a Cancer. So somebody's leaving somebody else behind. Somebody that they have some type of financial obligation to. That shit could be getting cut, you know, because there's definitely something coming out. Something is hiding behind that ace of swords with the four of swords. But it's going to allow somebody to disconnect from this queen of pentacles and, and go to going to a to a, excuse me a period of recovery whoever this masculine is they're a temptation don't be distracted by shiny things i really feel like this is a direct message for you to know that whoever this is whatever dealers they have with this queen of pentacles it wasn't romantic 
It was an obligation. This person could have made a bad choice in the past, or maybe they got a business, or maybe they got themselves locked into something with this Queen of Pentacles energy, but I don't feel like it's like sexual. Now, again, okay, don't take my word for it. Nothing is set in stone. They could have been having a sexual relationship with somebody dipping and diving in now and then and say, pay attention to your surroundings at the time. Somebody could be watching you, Aquarius. Somebody could be trying to follow you. It's Queen of Pentacles. I feel like it's unhinged, deep, dark secrets. That's what I say. There's going to be something coming out about the past here. And, you know, it ain't going to be something so nice. It's going to cause some type of tower, too. Okay? But I feel like it's going to be a good tower for you, Aquarius, and whoever this masculine is. But it's going to be a bad tower for whoever this feminine is. Curly hair feminine. You or them. Okay? I changed my mind about it. Change of heart. Change of emotion. This is somebody. Some of y'all, again, this is somebody who you with. They could have been really confused in this two of swords about you knowing a hangman about you and this queen of pentacles. They could have been going back and forth between you two, but somebody then made up their mind about it. Or they made up their mind about you. I feel like they want you. They want to be with you. Okay, they don't want to be with this uh, Queen of Pentacles energy. If somebody was juggling you too, okay, they don't want to be with this other person. They want to be with you, and they've made their mind up about that. Somebody has been indecision. But this is happening too because there are some deep, dark secrets about whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, which is also, you know, pushing this masculine or push this masculine to make this decision. It helped them make a decision, I'm going to say. Because they wasn't sure for a long time. Vibe high, don't stoop to their level. Don't give in to lower frequency energy. This Queen of Pentacles could be trying to come at you about this man. Okay? And, you know, she don't love him. She just don't want you to be with him. Even if this is somebody who was juggling someone, Six of Pentacles, they was juggling, giving her. They probably was giving this Queen of Pentacles too. With the nine of swords here, the hangman, and then, you know, with this two of swords, they blocked too. This person can't manifest. This person could have really been like a gold digger. They could have really been sucking your person dry because there's three pentacles on their side. And they they need bag and he giving them crumbs. But on your side, you sitting pretty. You ain't even, you ain't got your hand out. So you could be a little bit more stable than this queen of pentacles energy too. Why I'm saying that? Because over your head is the scales, like balance. This is, this is good karma for you. You bring good blessings to this person like whoever this person is coming towards you also the scales are equal that mean that y'all are equally yoked him and who whoever this man is and his queen of pentacles energy they are not equally yoked that's exactly why because this person here this queen of pentacles she had an agenda possibly for more of a material gain than like a soul gain this person could be seeing like you don't you're not money hungry. You have your own independence. You have your stuff together. And they have somebody like codependent in the background who they was given to, but they're not going to be given to this person any longer. And give me some more on this Queen of Pentacles and this masculine and, and Aquarius evil eye. This look, damn, this little dusty person sending you the evil eye. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles energy is, and they could be uh what signs do we have? Leo, Cancer, Libra, and Virgo. They can be one of them signs, okay? Z, first minute or last initial. Ooh, that flew. G, first minute or last initial. You see it? Yeah, your girl can draw a little bit. <laughs> Candle magic. That's what this Queen of Pentacles was doing. This Queen of Pentacles was glamouring this masculine to get finances out of them. Like I said, I know they was given to her. Some of y'all, somebody still could, like I said, have some type of financial obligation to this Queen of Pentacles some way. They could have got caught up with something. She could have got this person. She could have confused this person. Maybe some magic and had this person to sign a contract or something. Whatever it is, they're getting out of it, okay? Oh, first, middle, last initial. I'm also getting, I don't know, Oscar. And I'm also getting over. Something that's over with this Queen of Pentacles in the background. Whoever this has been in the background, been receiving, you know what I'm saying? Things are changing. Why? Because your luck changing. Okay? Your good luck is bringing in changes for you, which is also ushering some changes within a masculine, which is in turn ushering them to disconnect from this Queen of Pentacles. Okay? D, first, middle, last initial. We have... Baby, million dollar baby, ooh, ooh. hell no. <laughs> this is somebody who want to commit to you. What I tell you? This is somebody who done met their man. This is somebody, for some of y'all, this is going to be so many different ways. Some of y'all, this is somebody who coming back towards you and they ready to commit to you. They want to marry you. They do. They, they are serious. 
This is someone that could be leaving somebody behind because they didn't have some type of epiphany around you. I look, I changed my mind about that's just like a tower. Sudden epiphany, sudden change. Somebody that has some type of realization around you and they want to be with you, okay? And if this is somebody that you've been with, we got air at the bottom of the deck. If this is somebody you've been with already, or this is somebody you with, excuse me, I'd rather say this the same thing goes. Somebody here could have been juggling you with a queen of pentacles. There are some deep, dark secrets coming out about this queen of pentacles, and it is pushing a masculine to disconnect from her. You know, if this is not someone who had a financial obligation to somebody in their past, they could be dealing with a past life karmic third party on you. And this Queen of Pentacles energy was a gold digger. They required a lot. And this masculine, they, you know, they, they eye was closed. They third eye was closed. They couldn't see this Queen of Pentacles energy clearly. And I really feel strong that they're Leo Virgo Cusper. I don't know why I keep getting that. Okay? And that energy been running rampant lately. Okay? But... Air element. That's you. Okay? There's also the Ace of Swords. There's some truth and clarity coming out. E, first, middle, last, and it's going to cause, again, storm, chaos. It's going to cause a tower. It's something about this Queen of Pentacles energy. Somebody, first, middle, or last, and could be T. Yours, theirs, his, okay? Watching all up in your business. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, they know about you and they watching you. Okay? They watching you because they feel like you're the reason why this mask has pulled away from them. Or in the near future, you're the reason why this mask is going to be cutting them the fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like you here, first and last and I feel like somebody here for a long time has been in some type of, you see that slide in my hand, I'm going to read that because it fell down and God must want you to see this. For a long time, someone you're dealing with or someone you disconnect from, used to be with before, maybe someone who we want to come to you who's new, they've been undecided. But now... They're not. There's a new path opened up between you and a person, okay? There's new direction. There's probably, for some of y'all, there's going to be like a move with you and a person. Y'all going to relocate. And I feel like they're going to be ready so they're going to want to get away from where y'all live at because this queen of pentacles, she's not going to go down without a fight. If this is like a third party karmic, okay, that's been in the middle of your relationship, this is someone who was getting money up. They was getting a lot of money at your person. Your person was really giving a lot. They was they was barely giving you anything. And I feel like it had a lot to do with again, this Queen of Pentacles was codependent. You, you're not your hand is not out on that card. Your hand is not bagging for anything. You could be very solidified in your finances. Okay. You may have your own house, your own car. You don't need this mask. This Queen of Pentacles energy, they needed this masculine. And they could have tricked your person. They could have put some illusion over your person and, you know, really made them, you know, see them in a whole different light. You know, made them see them as somebody who was worth taking a risk on. Because somebody here, if this, if it's someone who's cheating on you, they, they was weak with They fell for a third party. They did. They fell for this person. And, you know, I feel like they regret it. They fucking regret it. Mm -hmm. What's well, finna take place? We are using the crystal reading oracle cards. Sexuality, crokite. This is someone who's heavily attracted to you. Pre-night, trust. This is someone that you can trust too. It, and I'm gonna tell you something. And I don't, I don't recommend staying with nobody. Shutakite. Okay, teacher. I was about to say this. You're somebody's guide. You're a guide in life for somebody. That's why this relationship could have been really tense. You came into this person's life, I feel like, to help them recognize this Queen of Pentacles. Somebody that been connecting back and forth with the Queen of Pentacles for, I, and I feel like they're a Virgo Leo Cusper, and they also could be a Cancer, I'm here. But somebody's been going back and forth with this person for a long time. This 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 Queen of Pentacles been putting roots on somebody, tricking the fuck out of them, and hurt like hitting their pockets. This is someone every time they hooked up with this Queen of Pentacles, they may have to take this person to a nice hotel room, or they gotta give them money. Like it's like it was always like an exchange. It was like a business proposition. They never was just with this person to just be with this person. Every time they was with this person, they bought her something or she, she got money up out of them. And it's been times like when she needed maybe her rent paid or something like that. Like somebody was like, like, look, somebody was tricking their money off with somebody real bad and not giving you, barely giving you the bare minimum for some of y'all. And it was given to this gold digger. 
But they was under an illusion, but it don't matter. They should know right from wrong. Hell, if they were healed and get out of their south, no, they would have been able to see this Queen of Pentacles, okay? And some of y'all, this Queen of Pentacles was in their life before you came. Diopside, Mother Earth. Some of y'all, too, this also could be a mother figure. This mother figure, okay, I'm just I'm here now. This mother figure could be a Leo, Virgo, Libra, or Cancer. Somebody could have a very toxic ass mama, okay, who's been fucking with their healing and their growth, making them confused about you too for some of y'all. Diops taste, hard healing. Your person could be going through some type of hard chakra awakening, Aquarius. Somebody who wants to be with you, new might healer, okay. You and your person could be healers. Okay, you and your master could be healers. Moonstone, cycles. There are some major cycles going to be closing out, you know, for you in the next six months. Pink tourmaline, forgiveness. There's a need to have forgiveness with someone, okay? And I don't even... I don't even quote the Bible like that, but I, I clearly heard, <laughs> you know, they know not what they do. They know not what they do. I heard that. I know the, I know the whole Bible verse, but that's what I heard. They know not what they... So this person didn't know what they was doing. They, re, they really was under some type of illusion for a long time. And for some of y'all, you came and broke them up out of spell. You came and broke them up out of, uh, you know, uh, some type of root, like hex or binding spell or something that this Queen of Pentacles energy to put on this person. It could, it could even be somebody mama who done done this to them, but they broke free or they breaking free in the near future because that is towards the future energy. So in the next six months, you and somebody relationship is going to balance out around y'all. Okay, what well, a relationship in y'all. Get on away from here, my boy. The relationship between you and someone is going to balance out. Meditation is needed. Amethyst, my February Aquarius is here. You know, meditation could be very important at this time, okay? Because I see y'all birthstone. You know, amethyst is a healing stone for any sign, but it is a uh, February Aquarius birthstone. Tiger eye, courage. It, it took your person a lot of strength, okay? Or it will take your person a lot of strength in the near future to um, really... Get rid of this Queen of Pentacles. This is not going to be easy. That's why this person probably going to be on board with y'all relocating to have this new beginning. This is Kai Coxonite, okay? This is a new beginning happening for you and this person, and Black Ops sitting in the shadow. This is after someone, you know, your person, uh, you know, tackles their shadow side. Go through some, like, dark night of soul or some type of change, or they already did this. Or some type of ego death. They they, they I'm, ooh, I'm studying about the burp. They have went through, or they are going through some type of heart chakra awakening, and that is giving them a realization. That's why it came out. I changed my mind about it all. Somebody has been connected with a very dark person, whether it's their mama, somebody they have some type of financial obligation to, an ex spouse, ex baby mother, something like that, or a third party gold digger who probably is has a lot of secrets and you know deep dark secrets so whatever it is you know it's really going to blow your fucking person's mind <laughs> you know the whatever secrets coming up out of this moon surrender to the divine card over here is going to blow your person away they're going to be like baffled when all this shit come out about this queen of pentacles mm. black tourmaline but i feel like overall your relationship is protected with this person you came in to help this person heal and go towards, you know, say happiness, enjoying their life. Let's get a fruit of these right here. Bottom of the deck, we have Camia, Justice, Libra, and this is Libra Archangel, okay? Let's see. Let's see what did these want to say. My Aquarius, Holy Spirit, Ancestors, Guides of the Highest White Lights. What do we want to hear? We have Haniel, passion and poise. This is Scorpio energy. Glory of God, grace of God. She can help you ignite your passions to bring you renewed energy and vitality if your world is feeling a little bit lackluster. Call on the super motivational angel to restore your vigor, reignite your passion for life. She strongly aligned with the moon. I'm telling you that moon was calling to me, okay? And it's also known as the archangel of intuition and has a strong feminine quality. She's particularly aligned with healers ain't that us okay and psychics to help us go 
with the flow of life towards inner guidance, peace, and balance. Scorpio here. I'll tell you somebody could be a Scorpio. There could be a Scorpio or possibly a Pisces making a huge decision right now to let go of somebody. Blessings of God, angel of lightning. She brings blessings and happiness to our family life and our, excuse me, and overseas matrimony and parenthood. Some of y'all, you finna get married. There's a, there's a commitment. There's a serious contract somebody's bringing towards you, and they're coming with a ring. She symbolizes fertility and abundance, strengthens all our family and close relationships, brings in great blessings for good deeds. She reminds us that despite the hardships of life, we can find hidden blessings. So whatever this is coming towards you, Aquarius, it is like hidden blessings that's about to be released. You know, some of y'all, this Queen of Pentacles, whoever this Queen of Pentacles energy is, she could have been trying to do some work on you too, particularly candle magic, okay? But it wasn't working on you and it really was pissing this woman off. <laughs> and that's why I was pissing her the fuck off because you're a part of the 144,000. You're a star seed. That's why they couldn't touch you. But whoever this Queen of Pentacles, they pissed off. They mad. I can feel they are pissed off because somebody is in a near future. If they haven't done this, somebody finna cut her off and they're not going to give to her no more. And that's going to make this person go crazy. We have mutable energy here. Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Virgo. The chameleons of the zodiac represents the change of the seasons. They are also responsible for acting as the pathways between changes and embodying the space of transition and transformation. All right, mutable energy. So this also could be a mutable sign. Again, heavy on the Virgo. Sagittarius, right there. We just got Pisces. And I did call out Gemini. I called out all these signs. So it could be one of them signs too. We have Archangel Raguel. That goes Sagittarius. So somebody can have Sagittarius in their chart. Justice and harmony. Somebody wants to have justice and harmony with you. The sword of justice, friend of God. His purpose has always been to keep fallen angels and demons in check, delivering judgment upon any that overstep their boundaries. I feel like this is a message for this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles could be getting her ass kicked right now. Get her ass whooped for the things she's been doing to this masculine and what she's been trying to do to you. But it ain't affecting you because you could be a little bit more spiritually ascending and more a little bit more powerful than your masculine like i said you could be connecting with someone both of y'all are healers but your masculine is just waking up it says she's bring she brings harmony hold on brings peace and harmony when dealing with miscommunication and disagreements in relationships okay i told you some balance and not between you and a person assists you in enhancing cooperation and ending disagreements so she's coming in to end in any, any type of bad blood between you and your person. It is about to be cleared up. We also have Raduria, creativity, angelic muse, recording angel. This is the angel that keeps records of all things, okay? All right? The angel is associated with poetry and the arts. Helps with any creative projects you are working on. Hold on. My hand right so damn small. Helps with any creative projects you are working on, providing you with inspiration, wisdom. He will show you how to sow your artistic seeds so you can give birth to fresh new ideas and let your true gifts and talents come alive. This talks about that bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius, showing up your authenticity. Something about your creative energy you need to tap into. This queen of pentacles energy could have been trying to block harvest and, you know, siphon your creative so your your lower chakras especially your sacral and your solar plexus okay this woman could have been trying to siphon the pool from you she could have been trying to do it by candle work okay ogun some of y'all uh the orisha ogun could be one of your ancestors your guys the one one of your protectors and say he is the god of iron and war yeah this is ogun protect you you are connected to Ogun, okay? It say he is the owner of all technology, and Aquarius is connected to technology. At least Uranus is your ruling planet. 
Because this technology shares in his nature is almost always used first for war. As a legba open roads, it is Ogun that clears the roads with his machete. He's recognized by the number seven and the colors green and black. Seven, the colors green and black could be very significant. Or you know when you see a lot of sevens, Ogun is around you. You know when you see a lot of green and black, Ogun is around you. This is his signature let you know he's here for you, okay? What else? We have Wayne and Moon. A time to renew, withdraw, and rest. Didn't I say somebody is about to go to us? An ace of swords, four of swords, a period of recovery. There's going to be a time when you ain't going to have to do nothing. It could be now or definitely in the near future. Blue Moon. It says, especially magical time with the growth of knowledge and wisdom within the phases of a woman's life. So to my feminine energies, you have done a lot of growing. You have matured a lot. You have done a lot of work on yourself. I want you to pat yourself on the back and understand how far you've come. Anything else? Anything else? Ooh, that is a lot. Now that's too much. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Throw chakra. Affirmation. Communication. Element. Sound. So this is a throw chakra affirmation. I'm going to read it to you. I want you to keep it, Aquarius. And this is literally like a perfect card to come out for you because air signs are connected to communication thought. It's the realm of thought. Okay. So I easily speak my truth i easily express myself i own my power and i feel alive i am calm confident and centered i trust my life is unfolding exactly as it should and i want you to write that down i want you to remember that new moon popped over for you look at all these moons because there's a lot of hidden things around this whole situation somebody here is going to be getting rid of a gold digger possibly a karmic third party for some of y'all this is somebody in their past they have some financial obligations too that's that's about to be closed out because there's some type of secrets coming out all these moon all these hidden emotions all these hidden secrets all this is about to come to the light clean slate potential dreams all this is coming out because it's time for you to go in a new direction you and your person because you're connected or you're supposed to be connecting with someone who's a healer who could just be waking up okay who could just be getting into alignment all right sign the prayer pisces again okay Bottom of the deck, we have two, two, two. Balance. Love meaning. A message to focus your attention on your hard connections, meaning friendships, romantic relationships, and family ties. There's a need to buy such a relationship at this time. That's why there's also a need for you to show up. If you have some type of repressed emotion, you need to speak up some throat shocker. You need to say something. Maybe your throat shocker was blocked for some of y'all. It is time for you to speak up, and it's time for you to show the real, the real you. They didn't come out, but that is what I'm getting. It's time for you to speak how you feel. Let people know what's up, okay? Because holding in emotions only, you know, bother you. It don't bother the person that the the energy is being harbored for. It only hurts you. Spiritual meaning. A message of hope representative of balance, harmony, life choices, commitment, compromise, and trust. There's a need for you to trust at this time, Aquarius. Trust that everything is happening in divine order and divine time and that you are going to go to us everything that you need in this world. Let's get you a couple of spirit animals, okay? If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. Get a video a like, share so another Aquarius can find this. And thank you. Okay. Let's see. What do you want to say for Aquarius about here? Transition. You're going through some type of transition. You're moving forward. Crow. Which part of your life is is or may be going through a transition maybe you are changing relationships careers or cities whatever it is the crow is signaling that you are ready to make the change like i said some of y'all you're going to be cutting somebody off because there's something to come out about you know i did say that there was something about to come out about a queen of pentacles and somebody you dealing with okay and this queen of pentacles they know you because they've been trying to attack you there's also some of y'all you trying to find your like i said some of y'all could be craving for relocation like this bird you want to be free some of y'all you could be getting the opportunity to move and you know jump on it okay i feel like you want it and because you want it so bad 
prayer, you could be unintentionally, maybe unbeknownst to you, you could be manifesting. God heard your prayer. Antelope, decisive action. But it's also time for you to take action at the same token. Okay? I feel like as you continue to move forward and take the action you need to, there's going to be a period of recovery. Four swords, when you ain't going to have to do nothing. Everything is going to be worked out for you. But right now, you know, I feel like you still may, for some of y'all, need to take care of free things. It's that you are being told unequivocally that it is time to get moving. Set your intentions and take action towards making your dreams a reality. You have a door in front of you. Trust your instincts here. So there's a new path. Like I said, there's a new path open up for you in the near future. And there's a need for you to follow that path. There's a need for you to take action towards this new path because it's going to help you keep on going through this transition you're going through right now. Some of y'all, this could be a big move coming up and it could be all of a sudden. It could be all of a sudden. Some of y'all, they go to bed, transition again. It's this different message though, but some of y'all, you are definitely in some type of transition right now. You're making moves and there's things changing around you to open up this new path. Okay, Bobcat, mystery. Some of y'all, maybe you're afraid because you can't see the outcome or you don't know what's going to happen. It's a need for you to go with the flow. The Bobcat teaches you that there is true power and strength and silence and patience. In order to get what you want, you must be willing to plan, adapt, and above all, have the patience to see your dreams manifest. Hmm. All right, Aquarius. We have kangaroo cycle. Second time cycles came out. It say a nine month cycle is at play. So the next nine months, thing is going to take a, a drastic turn and a positive way for you. Your current project will take nine months to mature and benefit you. Commit fully to it. You have all the strength and stamina you need as long as you move forward and not backwards. You're closing out the past. That's what this is. You're transitioning. You're closing out the path. You're going towards your divine purpose, your north node, okay, what you're supposed to be doing. That's why all this balance and stuff is coming around you, and you're protected. And you've been getting protected from some queen of pentacles energy, some karmic energy that's been in the background. Whether it's somebody mama, somebody baby mama, ex-wife, ex-spouse, or some gold-digging third party that they was dealing with. Whoever that is, they're getting kicked up out of somebody's energy because this person has changed their mind about you. Whatever perception they had of you, view of you, it was distorted. And it has a, it had a lot to do with this Queen of Pentacles energy, you know, getting in this person's head and, like, fucking with them, okay? It's because they was trying to make this person think that they was you and your energy, the sweetheart, the kind person, the loyal, the, you know, the confident, the, the independent woman. You know, who I'm talking to, you could be a man, too, but I feel like I'm talking to somebody who got their stuff together and somebody you dealing with. They also can have issues because, you know, I feel like when a man have two women, he always go towards the weaker one who he feel need to be uh, saved. And that's because he have issues. This could have been somebody who you didn't need them. They probably was. They probably went toward this person out of spite. Mm, that's toxic because they felt like you didn't need them and they, they like being needed. This could be somebody who's insecure and got fucking problems. One, 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 <laughs> and look, one, one, two, <laughs> look at five ones right there. That break down to a five. There's significant change here. Those five ones break down to a five. There's significant change about to happen in your life. Spider here, manifestation. You weave your web. Hold on. You weave your way up in life. What you see before you is the result of your thoughts. If your current reality does not suit you, then it is time to make changes. Through conscious manifestation, your energy can bring in all you desire. So be careful with your thoughts right now. Some of y'all, you are manifesting at a rapid rate. Bottom of the deck, we have bare strength. Strength card again. It said a bear symbolized a strong source of support in times of difficulty and adversity. It may be time for you to stand for your beliefs or your truth with strength and confidence. You are free to roam at will and follow your path. Again, more about this path that's opened up for you. This is going to take courage for you to go down this path. Some of y'all, you you're going to have fear. You're going to have fear about going down this path because you can't see the end. You don't know what's there. But all God is telling you, wherever it is, it's an ace of cups and an ace of swords there. And an ace of wands. 
there's a new beginning. There's new beginnings all around you, happening around you, and there's something's going to be transforming in your life over the next nine months. Nine months is very significant. Nines are about introspection. There's going to be a lot of change. The more you surrender to the divine, the more you, you know, bring love into your situation, the more things are going to balance out. Because some of y'all, you and someone here, maybe you have already done it, but someone here is in the process of letting go of their soft nose. Someone here is in the process of transitioning, becoming an emperor to be to match you at your empress and it's the emperor and the empress did show itself this is someone who's getting into alignment to match your fly this is somebody who's getting into alignment to give you the proper commitment that you deserve all right that they know without a doubt they know that you're someone who's loving caring protective this person has a lot of affinity they they, they have a lot of honor for you this person respects you and I feel like it's because you stood by this person unbeknownst to you while they was dealing with something in the background. And it could have been someone very toxic they was dealing with. And the person was doing, I don't like to talk about that black magic bullshit, but somebody was literally doing candle work over you and someone. They was blocking this masculine third eye and they was fucking with this person's finances too. Every time this person didn't give this queen of pentacles what they want, this woman went and attacked them. And then she was getting in this person's ear telling them, that it was you that's what i just heard this woman was telling this man you was attacking them that's another reason why they probably was breadcrumbing you and giving more to this queen of pentacles wow but fuck that how weak is you hold on fuck that how weak is you to let some bribe tell you something about somebody that you because you know this person and if it's somebody new, you still know of them. Maybe you've seen them in the public eye or whatever, but you know of this person or this is somebody you literally know. You done had a relationship with, you done shared a bed with, you done lived together. Like, you know this person. So how could you let somebody come in from the outside? See, that's what I, that's what I can't stand about weak men or women. Like, nah, how you gonna let somebody come change your whole perception around somebody that you probably been knowing way longer than you knew them? What? How weak is that? Like, for real, how, how weak is that? That's whack, too. That ain't even, that's not only weak, that's whack. Let's get some self-care, <laughs> Aquarius. Financial goals. It says set and reach your financial goals to achieve financial stability. So over the next nine months, we, you know, I said we, the universe, me, my ancestors, guys, okay, and I got your back too. You know, I need you to make some financial goals over the next nine months. It's really going to help with your manifestation. We also have avoid toxic motherfucking people. Hang out with people who will uplift your spirit, not bring you down. Stay away from Debbie Downers over the next nine months. Shit, the rest of your life should be honest, but we reading the energy for the rest of the year. Now we got a time frame of nine months. Validate your past. Then I tell you, closing out the past, you did the best you could. Feel and empathize with your past, not judge it. There's a time to close out the past. Okay, there's something closing out with the past. Live your dream. Never give up on your dreams. Dare to live the adventure. This is telling you to live life and stop existing here in this realm. What else for my aquas? Ask your angels when you feel like you can't see. When you need advice, seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. So your spiritual team has your back, okay? Why, Aquarius? Because guess what? You're a part of the 144,000. You also have open up. Again, show the real, the real you, step into your authenticity. There's something that could be, some of y'all, your throat chakra could be opening up too. This woman could have been a try to like attack your throat chakra as well, okay? You're being asked to open your heart to another, to let down your walls and trust that they want what's best for you. Your life will open up in wonderful ways once you decide to open up. This is letting you know that whoever's coming towards you, it's safe for you to love them. It's okay for you to open your heart and it is okay for you to be with this person because they are your person. Whoever this person is that's coming towards you is about to give you this offer that literally could have some type of ring for you. The universe is saying it is safe for you to love. You can open up your heart to this person. Try to look at this person with a fresh set of eyes. 
Don't look at this person through the eyes of whatever y'all have already been through. Look at this person as someone new, you know, because this relationship has the potential to go towards a new direction and a new path to open up between you and someone. It's a have faith. Then I just say that have faith. Remove the doubts and questions. You are ready to step into your blessings and claim what all, what is already yours. And this person is a part of your blessing. This person is coming towards you. They are part of your blessings. They are already yours. Now all you got to do is open up your heart and claim them. Wow. Ooh, and fuck being nice. Be nice, but not too nice. Not everyone deserves your kindness. Some of y'all that throw chakra open up, you may have to put a motherfucker in check. You may have to tell something. You may have to tell a few people what to get on and get off at, okay? And if you need to, that is your, look, that is your divine badge to say, hey, you can do what you got to do, okay? X mark the spot. If somebody come over here acting frog, is tell them motherfucker to leap, okay? Like you can, you know, you got your own back and you got the okay if you need to test something up or you need to check somebody, the universe said, okay, go ahead. God say, I ain't going to spank you. I'm going to let you go off because you need to, okay? It's going to help that throat chakra loosen up. Ha, 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 la, 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 la. Yes, speak your truth. Say what you need to say. Fuck being nice, okay? Mm. And at the bottom of the deck, we have receive. You're being asked to be open to receive universal gifts, those, excuse me, these could come in the form of love, I said, a person, money, compliments, healing energy, and universal wisdom. Know that you're worthy of these gifts and open up to them. Some of y'all, you're going to be opening up to new spiritual gifts. Some of y'all got new spiritual gifts that's opening. Ooh, and it's going to make you very happy and excited. Now, last but not least, we're going to get a free astrological signs, and we're going to close it out, baby. Coming out the box, we got Aquarius. Hey, you like, I want to show up all in my reading. Libra. Brr, there's a Libra here. Brr, Pisces. They they won't come out again. Pisces. Capricorn. There's a Pisces here. Okay. There's a Libra here. There's a Pisces here. Neptune is again. This is giving me hidden secrets, illusions. That's what's about to be exposed. There's a cancer here. There goes Sagittarius. Okay. And they was, they was stuck to the cancer. Okay. That could be a Sagittarius who's letting go of a cancer. They could be in this Queen of Pentacles energy. That could be a person that's interested in you. I don't know. I just got that. There's definitely one particular person. You may have a Sagittarius who is disconnected from, you know, possibly a Cancer or a Pisces because Cancer landed on top of this uh, Neptune too. Somebody could be letting go of a Queen of uh, Queen of Cups. And look, the moon fell out in reverse, baby. There's so much stuff that's about to come out about. <laughs> around a few people okay definitely somebody that you connected with or used to be connected look pisces came out again double pisces double cancer the moon came out this just talks about hidden secrets illusions okay and hidden emotions and this here again illusion okay the planet of like dreamy energy, okay? The Neptune is the planet of illusion. They, they put up a smoke screen. So there is something that hasn't been clear up until now. It will be clear. Some of y'all, you have multiple different people wanting to get back in your energy, particularly for some of y'all, you have a Sagittarius that could be cutting off a Queen of Cups, a Pisces or a Cancer that wants to get back with you or somebody who wants to be with you initially. You also may have a Pisces who could be cutting somebody off. They could be possibly cutting off a, uh, ooh, this Pisces could be cutting off a Capricorn. Okay, and again, I also say that could be a cancer coming towards you. All right, but that's the that's the energy came out. Pisces, all about the intuition, surrendering to the divine. Cancer is your emotions, this feminine energy. Okay, man or woman, that's that's a need to get into your emotions, tap into your emotions. Sagittarius is linked to Ju Jupiter. There's luck and expansion and growth here, and a lot of change. Okay, and that's that. But again, overall. It's time for you to show the real the real you. But fuck being nice. You ain't got to put no mask. You ain't got to walk on no eggshells. You ain't got to do nothing that. All you got to do is bring love into the situation. If somebody don't bring you love, you got the okay from the universe to do what you need to do. Peace out, Aquarius. Love y'all and who all made it to the end of the video. Thank you. Have a prosperous, blessed rest of what? Six, nine months. Let's go.